Okay, how are you today? Hello? Hi, hi, hi. Good evening. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine? I'm fine, thank you. I am fine. Excellent. So we are four now, right? Yeah. It's nice. Vamos a ver. Check in attendance, right? Okay, vamos a ver. Tell me present when I call you, right? One minute. There he is. Finishing. We're finishing the month today. How do you feel about it? <clears throat> I'm, I'm tired because in, in the office here, we are in, I don't know how to say, in cierre. The closing month. The, 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 the closing month. Wow. Closing. And we have a lot of things to do in the end of the day of the month. And so wow. it's very tired. Yeah, the end of the month is not easy, right? It's, it's not easy. hard. You're an accountant, Ursula. Uh, no, no, uh, but I I have to make uh, some report for for for, for contabilidad. For for department, uh, financial department. For the financial department. Okay. <laughs> Wow. And the thing is that we you have today and tomorrow still, right? Yeah. And that okay. came comes. <laughs> okay. okay. Vamos a ver, Silvia Evelyn has a question. Says, es una tarea por cada clase. Yes, Silvia. You have an assignment every day. But... It's okay if you do today's homework and tomorrow's homework too, right? So you can go ahead. You can, you should not go behind with the assignments, but you can go ahead with the assignments. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have homework every single day. We have 20 assignments, right? 20 assignments and the midterm and the final test. Midterm test that will be in the middle of the course and the final that is uh, closest exactly the last day of the course. Okay, bueno, let's see, tell me present. Abner Adonai. <clears throat> Abner Adonai. No here. Alexa Marcela. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Andrei. Angie Melissa. 
Presente. Arely Isabel. Arely. Arely, Arely, Arely. Hay que corroborar ese sonido, Arely, porque no podemos estar sin sonido, ¿verdad? Arely, you have to open the microphone to be able to speak. If you don't open the microphone, we cannot hear. Arely, hello. No se le escucha. Erling. Erling Melquisedec. No hear Erling. Hermano Emi. Present teacher. Carla Milena. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. I'm here teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Marisa. Nancy Katia. Good evening, I'm here, teacher. Oscar Humberto. Present, teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present, teacher. Ursula. Present. Present teacher. Okay, William Giovanni. Present teacher. William. Okay, vamos a ver the ones that I call at the beginning, Abner. No here, Abner Adoni. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Okay. Andre. Andre. No here. Arely. Arely, Arely. Erling. Present teacher. Teacher. I'm driving my way home now. Okay, okay, okay. But nice that you're connected. Okay, Ian Lee. Are Lee, hello, buen provecho, Nancy. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay, Are Lee, ¿qué le pasa a su sonido que no me oía? Okay, boy. No. Tell me, how are you today? Hmm? How are you? Some of you, the ones that were here at the beginning, told me fine, fine, but a little bit tired. How are you? My fine. I'm fine. Okay. Fine. Well, let's start then. Let's check a little. Yeah. 
escuchar porque veo que tiene problemas con el sonido. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. We can hear you. Hi. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí. I can hear you, but I guess you don't hear me, right? Right. Yeah, but we can hear you. We can hear you very well. Hmm? Check the, the earphones. Because now the microphone is working. Yesterday the microphone was not working, right? But now I see microphone is working. Just check the earphones. So with the audio, we can hear you very well. Okay, bueno. I'm going to share. Les cuento que me duele la boquita. Así que, today you have to speak more. También. I, I, I went to the dentist to change some feelings, right? That was time to change and to replace. That is kind of hard. So now you will speak more than the teacher, right? Yes, right? <laughs> of course. Of course. <clears throat> yeah, checking, checking, checking. Let's see, check. Oh. Advancing. Today, we're talking about obligations. <coughs> um, when we talk about obligations, there are different uh, models that we use, right, to talk about obligations. But the one we will be concentrating today yeah, on is have to. <coughs> To. Vamos a agregar el to, right? Because it's not only have, it's have to. Have to for, have to for <clears throat> obligations. When you use have to, you're telling me that there is an obligation to do something. Yes? And check the objective. Participants will be able to create a conversation in which they use have and has to, right? We will see later on in detail when we use have to and when we use has to, right? And the purpose is to use it in a boss. So in a con, how, how can we say? In a... Um, hmm. In a situation where one of you is the boss and the other one is a new employee and the boss tells the new employee what he or she has to do, right? That's the context. The context is that one of you is the boss and the other one is a new employee. Okay, a ver. Checking, refreshing yesterday's class. Remember yesterday? We were talking about countable and uncountable nouns. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to check the vocabulary given here and decide which of these words are countable and which ones are uncountable, okay? So you have pages, sand, lemons, pens, notebooks, trees, rice, books, paper, water, snow, traffic, coffee, sugar, air, homework, oil, furniture, birds, pencils, and milk. Are these words countable or are they uncountable? Right? According to what you learned yesterday. Look at the words, check them, write next to them. For example, you say, well, pages are countable. 
But sun is uh, countable. You will go writing the letters like that. Okay, go ahead. Teacher. Hola. ¿Qué significa sun? Arena. Okay, gracias. Do you remember Sandy? La de Spongebob. <laughs> Sandy, la arenita, ¿verdad? The one that appears in SpongeBob SquarePants. Okay, go ahead, look at the words. Decide if they are countable or uncountable nouns. When you finish, we will check it. Uh, how are you doing? Are you ready? No yet, teacher. Reminding, reminding what you studied yesterday, right? Chicos, 
Ready. Ready. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's see. So we have pages are right. countable and sun is uncountable. What about lemons? Lemons? See. Countable. 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 Pens countable. Notebooks? See. Contable. Rice. You. 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 Uncountable. Uncountable. Traffic. Uncountable. The traffic too. And the coffee. Uncountable. We can count the cups of coffee, right? The cups, but the coffee, coffee, no. Sugar. Uncountable. Uncountable. Air. Uncountable. Uncountable. Homework. Uncountable. 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 We have a lot of homework, but no S. Yes. <laughs> Oil. Uncountable. Uncountable. Furniture. Furniture. Uncountable. Uncountable. Birds. Uncountable. Pencils. Uncountable. Uncountable. Milk, uncountable, and countable. Yes. Okay. Um. What do I use for uncountable? How much or how many? Uncountable. Coffee. How much or how many? How much? How many? How much coffee? Right. Because coffee is not how coffee. much. How much coffee? Notebooks? How many? How, How many, many notebooks? Furniture? How much? How much furniture? Milk? How much? How much milk? Trees? How many? How many trees? There we go. Books? How many? How many books? Great. Water. How much? How much? How much water? Okay. Any question here? Question, question? No? Teacher. Tell me. Well, not the boots, countable. Notebooks. Yeah. Notebooks are countable. What? This is a notebook. Good. Okay. I can say one Thank notebook, you. two notebooks, three notebooks, so I can count them. Okay. Mm -hmm. What Thank I you. cannot count is the word paper. Paper, no. Paper, I cannot count it paper. I have to say a... Uh, How much paper? I can count the pages, right? Two pages, three pages, but no the word paper. That's not good. Any other question here? Any other question? No? No question? No. Okay, now let's go. Look at the conversation. We're going to read the conversation, right? First, I'm going to read it alone, and then I'm going to ask you to, uh, to repeat. New material just arrived in the morning. 
tell Max that he has to store everything. What does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay. But there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But ask and tell the secretary first. Um, she's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay? Now, you repeat after me. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material, the new just, material arrived just arrived in the morning. Arrived in the morning. Mm -hmm. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell, Tell Max, Max that, that Max has, to, that store has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he Where have does to, to store the boxes? The he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He, he and Ivan have, 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 have to store them in the warehouse. In the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Okay, but there are many boxes. They have to use the lift. The lift. They have to use they the lift. lift. But ask them, ask and tell the secretary first. But ask and tell the secretary first. She's yeah. going to say that they can use it. She's, She's going, going to say they can use it. Going to say they can use that they can use it. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then I am, I am going, going to tell to Max and, and Ivan, Ivan what Ivan. they have what to they do. Have to what do. they have to do. Okay. Any questions here about pronunciation or meaning? I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, what is the difference entre has to and have to? Have to, for example, you say, I have to. Let me show you here. Check. I use have to with I, you have to. He, she, it has to. We, do they have to, right? So if I'm talking about the third person singular, I'm going to use has to. If I'm going, if I'm talking about the plural forms, we, you, they, or I, you in the singular, we are going to use have to. Mm -hmm. That's the difference there. In the conversation, I see he have. Let me see. You mean here? Yes. Okay, good question. This, uh, in this case, it is coming from a question. For example, if I ask a question, do you have a car? Into right here. Do you have a car? Do you? Well, let's use have to, Verda. Do you have to? Do you have to get up early to go to work? Then you say, yes, I have. Yes, I do. Does she have to? I changed the auxiliary do uh, to singular I, you, or to plural we, you, they, right? But remember that for third person, I use does. Does he have to? Does he have to? Uh -huh. It's the same rule that you have been using when you talk about the third person singular, right? That as the auxiliary changes, we keep the use of have to, even if you have he here. But the change was given in the auxiliary, not in the verb. 
No, where does he have to? I cannot say where does he has to because the one that changed that changed already is the auxiliary. Where do you have to store the boxes? Where do we have to store the boxes? But where does he? The change is here, right? Where does he have to store the boxes? Oh, he has to store the boxes in the warehouse. Yeah. Where do you have to store the boxes? I have to store the boxes in the warehouse. So the change is here. What changes is the auxiliary. Does that mean? Do you have to study? Does he have to study? So I make the change in the auxiliary, but no in the verb. The verb continues the same. Mm -hmm. Any other question there? No question? Okay. I check. Look at the look at the questions at the end, right? After the conversation, you have what couple of questions. So what you're going to do in the groups is that you're going to go practice the conversation. Remember, this is in your manual. What page in the manual? Vamos a ver. Who knows? Ah. Uh, what page? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What page in the manual do you remember? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh -huh. Page 11, right? In your manual, you have the conversation mm -hmm. and the questions. So first you will go to the rooms, you practice the conversation with your partner, right? Practice the conversation and then solve the exercise. And we will come and check when I call you. Any questions here? No questions? Page number 11. Right, Paige, no. Paige. Tell me. I, I have a question. Tell me, Angie. Uh, 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 how do you, ¿Cómo sabemos is has or have? But right now, don't worry about that. Just practice the conversation. And as you saw, I have all the rules that we are going to discuss later, right? But right now, just worry about the pronunciation. And after we finish with the conversation, we will come to discuss the rules. Yes? Okay, thank you. Right. Okay, vamos a los rooms. I'm going to send you in groups of four. So uh, take turns, right, to read with the different partners that you will have in there. And ready. Try to join. Join, join. Don John, Angie, Erwin, Carla, Melinda, Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Carla. Read the conversation. And I, I 
think we can turn. I, for example, I can be Aaron and from one of you being Sam, for example. ¿Tiene, eh, o sea, ¿Alguien tendría que ser Aaron, leer la, la, el párrafo de Aaron y luego alguien más leer el párrafo de Sam y luego cambiarse para, para practicar eh, toda la conversación? Ahí, ahí voy a ser Aaron. Ok. I'm Sam. Ok. Let's go to start. The new material okay. is used a bit in the morning. Bill Max that he has restored everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lead, but as can tell, he is secretary fears. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Mark and Ivan what they have to do. Ahora cambiemos. O, o no sé si, alguien, si, si los otros dos compañeros quieren, quieren hacer ahorita la conversación. Estoy tratando de, de encontrar el, el manual. It is in the WhatsApp. El manual está en WhatsApp. Correcto, sí. Thank the you. 11. Okay, let's practice again. I'm Aaron. I, okay. I like to read the conversation. Okay. I'm Aaron. The new material just arrived in the morning. Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf. But as I'm told the secretary first. He is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan, Ivan what they have to do. Mm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. okay. Your turn. Your, your turn. turn. Gail is your turn. turn. Oh, okay, I'm it. ready. Okay, I'm ready. Miguel and Silvia. Okay. Okay. Uh, yo soy Aaron. Okay, yo soy Sam. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell me. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Uh, where does she have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. <laughs> Can they use the leaf? They have to use the leaf, but as and tell the secretary first. Secretary first. Okay, she is going to say they can use it. 
then I am going to tell Max in even what they have to do. Okay. Listo. Okay. ¿Quieres que cambiemos? Ahora yo soy Aaron y tú Sam, ¿o no? Ok, sí. Ok. The new material, shoes arrive in the morning. Take back that he, he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the box? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many lovers in the fort. And Sam doesn't have to and doesn't has to help. Sam Dice de the new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Mm, he and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. The question he Sam doesn't have to. This question I didn't understand, teacher. Number three. Number three, let me see the question. Sam doesn't have to help. Or Sam mm -hmm. doesn't has to help. What is the correct answer? Um, Sam does he have to store the box. He has he does he have to. Uh -huh. One is correct and one is right. So you have to decide which is the correct one. Okay, there are many boxes and they use uh, use it that way. And there are some each she's going to say they can use. Um, and then I am going to tell Matt how to to do interest. No, but I can only have to wait. Choose one of the options. In all the four sentences, you have to choose one of the options. Yes, I have it that. Number one, number two, and number four, but missing number three. <laughs> what do you think is the correct answer in number three? Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Exactly. exactly. Okay. That's the correct. Sand. Thank you, teacher. That's a, uh, welcome. To me. Okay, Irma is hot. Doesn't. Sam don't have to help. Hair has to hair. Okay. And four. In four secretary. Aquí sería have to. Mm -hmm. That is take car, use or light. How to sería ahí. The secretary has to say that, that they can. El primero. The light. Have. No, 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 okay. Have to. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Pero sí, en, en la primera sí estamos bien. Que, sí. que sería. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Va en la segunda. La segunda creo que sería siempre. Has to. Has to. No has. 
Veamos qué dice de Aarón. Suba un poquito ah. William Porto. Ahorita. Ahí dice, vamos a ver. El nuevo material ha llegado el lunes. Max en la tienda. No dice nada de Aarón. <risa> no, Aarón no va. Uh -huh. Es que, que quienes van a almacenar, a almacenar las cajas son Solo Max es. e Iván. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces Aarón. No sería. Aarón no. Sí, sí Aarón ahí no. está en la conversación de Aarón. Ahí dice, ve. Aarón. Está la conversación de Sam y Aarón. No, pero aquí dice como que Aarón es el que va a pedir ayuda. Ah, entonces sería Aarón para... Dassent. Sería la primera. Aarón doesn't have to. Porque sí, de no boxes. Ajá. Porque él no, no tiene que pedir ayuda para las cosas, porque no es él quien lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya en la otra sí sería Sam. En la tres, ¿verdad? Entonces la, la dos quedaría con lo, con lo primero. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí, la otra sería... Ah, pero ahí, ahí está fácil, sería la primera, porque prácticamente están las dos, lo mismo, nada más que una tiene hub y la otra tiene has. Pero como pues ya sabemos que el auxiliar, eh, cuando utilicemos auxiliar, vamos a utilizar hub. Entonces sería Sam doesn't have to. Sí. Uh -huh. sí. Ok. Sería siempre la primera. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y en la cuarta sería de secretary. Siempre have to, ¿verdad? Porque va el... Secretary el, has... El he, she, y el sí, it, cabal. Uh -huh. sí. El has dijo, ¿verdad, William? Hola. El has dijo, ¿verdad? ¿O cuál? Como... Hub o has. ¿Cuál dijo? No, has, has. Con V. Pero la, ya la eh, secretaria es la tercera chill. persona, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. ¿De chill? Uh -huh. ¿Sería has? Sí, no. sería has. Sería has. Ahí sí sería has, William. Has. Uh -huh. Porque ya es tercera persona. The secretary has. Ah, sí, pero. Okay. Por eso, pero. Oh, thank you, teacher. <ríe> no me había dado cuenta. <ríe> no, ya. Okay. Ok. Lo que tenía que haber hecho. Ok. Entonces, sí. ¿Qué sería? Pasto. Esa es la pasto, sí. Sí. Esa. Because it's the third yes. person, right? Ok. Third person singular. Ajá. Uh -huh. Teacher, solo con una consulta. Dígame. Dice que en mi caso casi no le escucho bien. No, no. Solo ahí bien suave. ¿Quién? Eh, a usted, teacher. A mí me oye suave ahorita. Ahorita no, oh. pero por veces sí se, se oye que. Mm. Porque casi no le, no le escucho. Y le Vamos ha dado a bastante grande. volumen a su, a su compu. Sí. O quizá ya que tengo problemas. No, sí, eh, sí es cierto. A mí también me pasa, teacher, de que a veces se le escucha como que un poco más bajo. Ok. Pero es por, ajá, es por momentos, no no siempre. Okay, okay. Por ejemplo, ahorita sí la escuchamos perfecto. Ah, va. Okay. Vamos a gritar. Okay. <laughs> you finish, right? Yes. 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 Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back. Coming, coming. Okay, vamos a ver. <clears throat> How many are here? 
We're still missing 32 seconds. Thirteen seconds. Nice. Everybody here. I'm going to share the the conversation again. Okay, check one thing. We here, remember what I told you at the beginning, right? We use, do you, do you have, but does he have? So when we ask a question, we use in the auxiliary, do, for I, you, we, they, and does, for he, she, it, as you can see here. Does, does he, does she, does it. But do I, do you, do we, and do they. So we're going to check that later on, but let's see uh, the answers to your questions, right? Max and Ivan, have to or has to? Have to. Have to. Have to. Have to. have to because uh, we have two people, right? We have Max and we have Ivan. Uh, Aaron doesn't have to help store boxes or doesn't have to help store boxes? Doesn't have to box have to. Exactly. Have to. Doesn't have to. Right, nice. What about number three? Sam doesn't have to help, or Ham that Sam doesn't has to help. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Doesn't. Who is Sam? Well, here grammatically is doesn't have to, right? No way. And the last one, number four, the secretary. That means that the secretary has to authorize, right? The secretary has to authorize. If she, say, if she doesn't say, yeah, you can use it, they cannot use it, right? The secretary has to say that they can use the lift. Nice. Any question? No question. Yeah? No, teacher. Okay. Bye. And now going to the room. Okay. Uh, here we're using have to or has to, right? Remember, the person singular is I. Second person singular is you. You know that we have a you singular and a you plural. You. You or you. Right? So if we say you as singular, or you have you as plural, right? So you have to be very careful. In some cases, uh, you can see the difference, but not in this case. It will, uh, it will work exactly the same. When we say you, you, I'm talking to Nancy and I say you, Nancy, Oh, I say you, all of you. The house. That, that would be plural. And also uh, the third person plural, that is they, but the third person plural is he, she, it. So check. If I'm using 
the third person singular, singular, not with the plural, right? If I'm using the third person singular, I have to use has to. So you say she has to mop the floor. He has to clean the house. It has to work more, right? So has to. But we are using has to only for he, she, it, right? He, she, it has to. I have to. You have to. We have to. You have to. And they have to. Right? So you say, I have to do the homework. You have to clean the house. We have to attend classes. You have to study a lot. They have to work late. That he has to mop the floor. She has to mop the floor. And it has to mop the floor. Do you have any question here about the use of have to or has to? Hmm? No question. No question. Okay. Now, check. In the negative, well, that's affirmative, ¿verdad? A ver, me fui. Here, this is affirmative. Now, what happens when I want to make a negative sentence? I say, I don't have to. I don't have to. I use the auxiliary don't and I have have to. I don't have to store these packages. They don't have to take everything to the warehouse. We don't have to ask for permission. The truck driver doesn't, y aquí hay un error. Este, este manual, number four, has a lot of mistakes, a lot. Es el manual que yo he encontrado con más errores en principiante. Así es que les voy a ir pidiendo de favor que vayan haciendo las correcciones pertinentes. hoy Porque aquí me les echa a perder todo lo que ustedes están aprendiendo. ¿no? And you say, the truck driver doesn't have to. Como que le hicieron el copy-paste y solo le agregaron el das. Y se les fue y dejaron el has, pero no puede ser has. According to the rules, what changes is the auxiliary, not the verb, right? So you say the truck driver doesn't have to bring the material. He doesn't have to use the link. He doesn't have to. ¿Verdad? He doesn't have to use the lift. In affirmative, you say the truck driver has to bring the material. He has to use the lift. But that's affirmative. In negative, doesn't have to. Okay? Make the correction in your mind. Si lo imprimió o si lo tiene en digital, hágale la corrección. No se me quede con los errores hoy. Vaya, any question? No question? No question. Hmm? No, teacher. Okay. I check. Have to. When do we use have to? We use have to to talk about obligation. See? When something is necessary in the present or the future. So you say, I have to study. I have to study for the test. What do you have to do? I have to clean the house. I have to clean the office. Obligation. Yeah, it's necessary to clean the office. 
This is a model of obligation or necessity because we are expressing obligation and we are also expressing necessity. Right? So if something is necessary, I use have to. Okay? Now, look at the example. The boys have to study hard. The boy has to get a wake up at seven. Check the difference. Maybe the boys plural, the boys have to, but the boy, only one boy has to. So here the boys is they. Because I'm not talking about just one boy. I'm talking about at least two or three boys. So I said the boys have to study hard, but the boy has to. Is the boy is he? Yeah, is he? The boy has to wake up at seven o'clock in the morning. It's obligation for him to wake up at that time. Pedro has to wash the car. Mandatory for Pedro, obligation. Pedro has to wash the car. The children, remember the, the singular is child, child up to here, and the plural is children. So you say the children have to do the homework. John has to work all day, has to. John has to work all day. He has to wake up early, right? Only one person, he. He has to wake up early, but they have to study and work every day. Huh? And work and work. So it works a lot, right? They have to study and work every day. Any question here? Mm, no questions. Okay, that is expressing obligation. Yeah, obligation. Now check the structure. Are you we day with have to, right? You have to arrive on time to classes. He, she, it has to. She has to brush her teeth every day. What does she have to do? Well, she has to brush her teeth every day. Does she have to brush her teeth every day? Yes, she has to. She has to brush her teeth every day. Now in negative, remember, we were saying that have to or has to means obligation. But what happens, you know the structure now, right? You already know the structure, but what about the meaning? If I say don't have to or doesn't have to, that means absence or of, of obligation. So means not, not obligation, right? When something is necessary, if you say, well, I don't have to wear a uniform to teach this class. I don't have to start the class at seven, it's not necessary, right? But I have to start the class on time. You have to work the platform. You don't have to, to do three units at once, it's not necessary, but you have to work in the assignments every day, yeah? But if I say don't have to, that means, it's not obligation for you to do, right? Look, the children don't have to go to school today, it's Saturday. Yeah, they don't have to go to school on Saturday. The children don't have to go to school. It's not necessary that the children go to school today because it's Saturday. She doesn't have to eat all the fruit. 
Chidasen. Chidasen have. She doesn't have to eat all the food. I don't have to wear a uniform at, at work. I don't have to. I don't have to wear a uniform. Yeah. I don't have to wear a uniform. I don't have to check emails. I don't have to check emails. It's not necessary. In my work, I don't have to check emails. Do you have to check emails in your work? Yes or no? Yes, all the time. All the time. So you have to check emails. Who doesn't yes. have to check emails? Hmm? Who? Everybody has to check emails? Yes? Or no? Everybody has to check emails? Yes. Yes, everybody, okay. Do you have to wear a uniform at work? No, I don't have. You don't have to wear a uniform? No, I don't have. Okay. I don't have. You don't have to. It's not necessary that you work a uniform, right? I don't have to attend meetings on Sundays. Do you have to attend meetings on Sundays? No, I don't have to attend meetings on Sundays. No, okay. My boss doesn't have to clean the office. <laughs> Does your boss have to clean the office? Hmm? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Do you have to clean the office? No, no. I don't. No, I don't. No, you don't. Okay. Any question here? No, Any teacher. Question? Thank you. Okay. Now, remember, negative sentence. Use the subject. Don't have or doesn't have to. The verb and complement, right? So you say, I don't, you don't, we don't, and they don't. Doesn't, she doesn't, he doesn't, it doesn't. We don't have to get up early on Sundays. He doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Not necessary. Right? It's not necessary. It's not an obligation for you to do it. It's not mandatory, right? Any question here? Huh? Any question? No questions. No, teacher. No, no question, teacher. Let's look at the exercises that you did before. One more time. Check. Max and Ivan have to or has to, according to what you know now. Mark and Ivan. Hmm? Mark and Ivan. Have to. Have, have to. to. Yes, have to store boxes. Sam doesn't have to help or doesn't has to help? Doesn't have to help. Okay, Sam doesn't have to help. Aaron doesn't have to help store boxes. Or Aaron has to help store boxes. Aaron doesn't have to have store the boxes. Yeah, it's not necessary that he do it, right? That secretary have to say that they can use the lift or has to say that they can use the lift? Has to say. Uh -huh. 
things. The secretary has to say they can inspect it. Now, what about you? What do you have to do in your workplace? Write three things about the about what you have to do. In my case, I have to check papers. I have to prepare classes. I have to attend meetings. What, what about you? What things do you have to do? Write two things you have to do and one that you don't have to do, okay? And be ready to share. Two things you have to and one thing you don't have to do. Go ahead. I have to attend the meeting. Okay. I don't have I don't have to clean my desk. Okay, you don't have to. Somebody else cleans it for you? No, I don't. You don't have to clean the room. Yes, I do. You have to clean the room. The the, the desk. Do you no, have no, to no, clean no. your desk? No, I don't have to clean my desk. It's not necessary. Okay. Do you have to check emails? Okay, write three sentences, please. Two of things that you have to do and one of things that you don't have to do. Two things that you have to and one thing that you don't have to. I finished the shirt. Okay, Angie. Who else finished? Who else is ready? Who else? Who else? I have to check emails. And I have to call my customers. And also I have to prepare some documents. And I don't have to clean the office. You don't have to clean the office. Very good. Thank you, Maria. Let's see another volunteer. Another volunteer, Alexa. Alexa. No, <laughs> hello. Uh, in my case, uh, I have to uh, send the emails. Uh, I I have to tell with my boss, and I have to to call the some clients. 
and uh, only. And what is something that you don't have to do? Uh, <clears throat> I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. Be clean in the office. You don't have to clean uh, the don't... office. Uh -huh. Thank you, Alexa. Let's see. I'm going to check who will be my person. Volunteer. Ana Luisa, tell me, Ana Luisa. Oh, and we have a volunteer. By Mauricio, and then we'll listen to Ana Luisa. Go ahead, Mauricio. Okay. I have to drink coffee in the morning. I had to work all day. Yeah. I don't have to travel by bus. You don't have to travel abroad. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Willie and Giovanni, tell me. Okay, teacher. I had to open every morning. I had to write the production. I had to check the emails. Uh, I don't have to attend the project. I don't I do not have to recite products. I don't have to the clean office. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. One more volunteer. Vamos a ver. One, one, one. Miguel Angel, tell me. Miguel Angel. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. I have two meetings in homework. I have too much work tomorrow. I don't have uh, I don't have a uh, relax tomorrow. You don't have to get up to, to relax. Okay. Okay. Or you cannot get relaxed. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now check. We have something else to do here. Now, look at this. What you're going to do here is complete the sentences using the correct form of have to. Okay? So that means have to, has to, doesn't have to, don't have to. You have to see what is necessary that you use, right? Choose the correct option. Okay. When you finish, we will check. Has to, have to, right? Don't, don't have to, doesn't have to, depending on the case.
Let me know when you're ready. Great right, teacher. Excellent. Vamos a ver. Number one, the company has to have, have, to, have, have to have to has to yes has to the company has to buy new material. What about number two? Your parents have to have, have to. to. Yeah, your partners have to pile up container. Pile up means this is one object. I'm going to put the other one here. And then the other one here. One over the other. Yeah, that's pile up. Especially boxes are pilot, right? One box, another box, another box, another box, until you make a big mountain. That means mm -hmm. that is pile up. Aha, uh -huh. number three, the agents. Hasen has to. Hasen sign the letter. Doesn't have. Don't have. Meeting the agents. Plural, verdad? Yes. Don't, don't have. Don't have. Don't have to. Exactly. The agents don't have to don't sign have the letters. Don't have to sign the letters. They don't have to sign the letters. Mr. Bonilla. Has to design the model. Has to. Has to. Has to design. Mr. Bonilla has to design a new model. Number five. The group. Has to. Doesn't have to. Have to. It's negative, right? So the group. Doesn't have to work until late. Yes, the group doesn't have to work until late. Any questions? No questions. Una duda. Tell me. ¿Cómo se pronuncia en la última palabra donde dice complete the following? La última que dice provid provider. Provide. Provide. Sí, okay, provide. gracias. Okay. Any questions here? No questions. Okay. No. Now is your time to work alone. Bueno, no alone, in groups. Okay, check. You're going to create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is new there. So the other, right, has to give instructions about how some things have to be done. So that means that one of you is the boss and the other is the new employee. And the boss has to give instructions to the new employee on how to do different things how things have to be done, right? Okay, you have a model that of course you can add, you can change whatever you want. Say hello. Hello, Maria, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. 
I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to do this and this and this and this, and then you have to. So you give the instructions, at least three, right? On what things the person has to do. Okay, where do I have to? And you ask about one of the activities. For example, if I say, well, uh, first you have to check in at the entrance of the building. Second, you have to go directly to your desk. Third, you have to check emails and answer the emails of the day. And then the other one says, okay, where do I have to check in? In the reception area, right? You have to check in in the reception area. Then you have to go to your desk. You have to check your emails once you are in your desk. And you have to answer all the emails that you have received before 9 a.m. So you give a time, right? So you're very specific with the instructions that you're giving here. Any questions on what you're going to do? Mm -hmm. No questions. No, teacher, no questions, no, right. Okay, I'm going to send you then in groups. Let me see, you're 17, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. If I make one more group. Hmm. Well, I'm going to recreate the groups. Check it. But I have problem. There are two people that are not here, right? They are just listening. Oscar and Elaine. Elaine, did you arrive already? Have you gotten home? Not yet. Well, I'm going to send you better. Uh, so you are in groups of some of you will be three, or some of you will be four, but you will have a person that is only a listener. There are two groups that are in groups of four. Manash, right? Manage to do the conversation so that all of you speak in the conversation at the moment of sharing. Okay? Ready, ready? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. There we go. Ready, join. Join, join. Mm -hmm. Green Oscar, Erwin, Alexa, try to join. ¿Cómo estás? Hola. Para hacer lo, lo de la... ¿De la conversación? Sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Te acuerdas cómo parecía? Sí. Hello, decía... Hello, podemos decir el nombre, ¿verdad? Hello, Arely. Eh, how are you? ¿Cómo estás? Uh, good hair, I have... Check the I... example of the conversation in the manual. 
is manual page 12. Check page 12 in your manual, there you can check it. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> no me acuerdo como aparecía. Check the, the manual, Arely. Man Hola. Page 12 in the manual. Page 12. Um. Manual page 12. Sí, pero ahí solo sería de agregarle, ¿verdad? O lo mismo vamos a... No, agréguenle repasar. todo lo que quieran. Ah, ok. You are... Ok. Sería... To change everything. Cheat. Reprise, porfa. Como para empezar otra vez la oración, que me perdí. <ríe> Disculpe. Okay. Lo primero decía, hello, eh, Arely, welcome. Eh, pone usted, hi, how are you? Eh, le pone, good, and how heard the list of activity you have to do. First, you have to. Eh, okay. Y ahí le vamos a agregar las otras cosas que... Que tenemos sí. que añadirlo. Ajá. Uh -huh. No sé si tiene el manual o le mando más o menos para que tenga ahí en el chat. Ya, eh. ya acaban de enviarlo al grupo. Hoy sí, es que no lo tenías, por eso me había perdido. Ah, ok. Ajá, sí, porque ya empieza la conversación. Hello, my name. El mío es Arelio. Welcome. Here. Hi. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Good, I have. The list of activity you have to do. First, you have to. Okay. okay. When you have to? Have to. In have the, to. Uh -huh. Then you have to. You have to. You have, have to. to. You have to. Have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Vaya. Esa es la parte que. Here I have a question. Mm -hmm. In the part and the letter A, um, dice in the y un guión es in the company o o the place o the world. Area. You can mention one area of the company. In the area in the company, for, for example, example in the, administ admi in the administrative area in the in the entrance. Uh -huh. entrance wall. Uh, okay. Depending Thank on the you. activity, right? You're going to choose one of the places. Okay, human resources. Ajá. Irma, are you ready? No, todavía no las tengo listas. Es que solo estoy un poco confundida en la, en la parte en la... En la... Hey, and there is a good, I have heard the list of activity you have to do first, you have to, entonces sería, por ejemplo, eh, prepare invoice, make a statement, check emails, 
Yes. Okay. Where do have I have to? I have to do. I have to. Eh, ¿Qué se le pondría ahí? Porque está preguntando. Eh, What do you have to do? The area of the country. ¿Cómo? The area. El área de la compañía. The place, right? The area where you do the activity. Entonces sería, eh, okay, where do ha, I have to do eh, import-export? Exportaciones. Import-export, sí. Import-export in the... Export. Mm -hmm. Import or export. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y de allí él dice, eh, eh, in the, en el, en esa parte tampoco no, ¿qué se le pondría? Acuérdense que primero tienen que escoger las actividades que le van a decir al otro que tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? Depending on the work that you do. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. 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 It will depend on the activities. Oh, thank you, teacher. First, choose the job, chickens. Choose the job, and then according to the job that you choose, those are the activities that you have to do in that job, right? What is the job? If you're a receptionist or a writer, or something, if someone eh, that cleans the area, ¿Cuál es el, el, el trabajo que hacemos? Ajá. Ay, no, qué feo me... Eh, en mi, bueno, mi caso es custom assistant. Ok, like the customer service. Yes. Ok, so what are the things that you have to do? You have to answer calls, but what is the first thing that you have to do as soon as you enter to the to the company, right? Give instructions to your partner according to what are the obligations for that job that you do. Okay. In the, no, it's in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the reception, in the reception. The, the blow, or no, type blow, I don't see his piece of mess, I don't know, go. In the, ¿Cómo se puede decir en, en, en la sala de recepción? La sala de... 
Recepción. The reception area. The reception area. In the reception area. Yes. The reception area. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Mm, y ahí el otro, ¿cómo sería? In the, en el o en el la. Section room. Entonces tienes que el, el, the clean escritorios. Eh. On the desk. In the test. On, on the test. On the test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To the clean the desk. Mm -hmm. On the desk, brother. On the test. On the test. In the on the desk. Vaya, creo que algo así lo tengo. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Entonces podemos decir hello eh, y el nombre, ¿verdad? Welcome. Ahí se le pone well, hello, how are you? Good. Hello. Welcome. Ajá. Y ahí sería hi. Ahí sería hi. How are you? Ahí empieza uno. Puede decir good o so, so. Ahí podemos entenderlo. <laughs> Depending on the case. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. And they say good. I have here the list of activity you have to, to do. To do. Fear. Uh, you have to. Uh, clean. Sería clean win, window. You have to clean the windows. Uh huh. What else? Uh, do you have to do? Okay. What do you have to? Can I come Oh, 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 uh -huh. How the hamster? Uh huh. How how the in the reception room. The reception. Reception room. Reception the reception room. 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 The the you have to you have to clean the cleaner cleaner clean that is okay in that in ever the teacher in the desk verdad you have to clean the desks and they clean the desk and verdad you have to clean the desk okay. clean the desk well, oh. ahorita lo voy a mandar al chat para que lo vean Bueno. contestar enviar correos eh, poner el café y atender a los proveedores in English send email make copy attend to supply ok Okay. 
ready? Yes. We can try. Come on, then. ¿Quién empieza? Ana Luisa sería. Ok. ¿Qué se hizo, Ana? Hola. Where is Ana? Where is Ana? We can try. You are the first one. You can. You have to start the conversation. You, you have the first one. Comenzamos. You, you, are, you are the first one. Okay. Uh, hello, Ursula. Uh, welcome to the Salvador uh, Company. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Okay, uh, I will intro, introduce you to the administrative manager, um, Maria. I present to go the new reception, she is Ursula. Hello, Ursula. Welcome to our company, El Salvador, El Salvador Company. Uh, uh, when, uh, let go with me and I will uh, present to general manager and I will give you the all your the all the activities you you can do every day. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Mauricio. Uh, she is uh, Miss Ursula. Uh, she is the new receptionist for our company. And maybe you can explain her to activities, uh, the one she will, she will do every day. Hello, Maria. Hello, Ursula, you're welcome. Oh, I am just you. on the nice start. To I am just on the start. Your, your husband needs to answer the calls every day, please. Okay. It it okay. Where do I have to answer the call? It will be working in the office. Okay. And there are another things to I have to do. One more time, please. Yeah, I'm being ready. Okay, that's good. Are you ready? You can try yes. one more time while I go check the last group and then I call you. Okay. One. Okay. Yes, yes. Ahora, si lo queremos hacer ya más larguito, pues. Como decía Miguel, podríamos ponerle lo que se va a hacer afuera. Eso Pero sería así. lo que sería dentro de la oficina. Sí, esas serían las que serían dentro de la, de la oficina. ¿verdad? O sea, por ejemplo, Pero, ahí, 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 sí. uh -huh. Pero este está súper bien. Sí, ¿verdad? Y lo podríamos sí. alejar. Sí. Uh -huh. Porque da como el ejemplo de la. Ajá, correcto. Entonces, sí, ahí sería. Ok, vaya, si quieren practiquémosla, 
Vale, no sé si ya, si ya, si ya copiaron en, 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 aparte la, las la conversación. No sé si la han copiado de ahí del chat. Sí, eh, sí, sí ya. yo ya la copié. Ah, vale. Entonces, si gustan, eh, practiquemos las dos y dos, ¿verdad? Por si nos toca que, que, que pasar. Ok. Sí, entonces, Carlita, si quieres, comencemos nosotras, ¿verdad? Eh, va, está bien. Ok. No sé quién comienza. Usted, Carlita. <ríe> Vaya. Sí, Hello, Miss. Uh -huh. Hello, Miss Ochoa. Welcome. Hi, Carla. How are you? Um, good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to attend meetings. Also, you have to call the customers besides You have to check emails. Also, you have to visit the customers and service customers. Okay. Where do I have to the activities? Some, um, some of the activities you have to do in the office and others outside the office. For example, in the office, you have to check emails and you have to attend meetings. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ahora ustedes, Miguel y Silvia. Ok. Yo soy el A. Ah. Sí. ¿O quiere que comience yo? Sí, Silvia. por favor. Sí. Ok. Hello, Silvia. Welcome. Hi, I need four minutes, digo seconds. Okay, now everybody back. Let's see group number one, Alexa, Areli, Marta, and William. Go ahead, we are all ears. Okay, teacher, solo que le hicimos algo corto. Este, no sé si me va a ayudar Alexa o, o Areli. Vaya, chicas. Ay, como sea, como sea, William, se gusta, inicia, yo lo sigo. Ok. Hello, Alexa. Welcome. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Um, good here, I have the list of activities that you have. How do you, how do first you have to the clean the office, boss, the make the coffee? It's okay. Where do I have to follow up after? Uh, in the, rece the reception rooms. Uh, so you have to clean the, the desk. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, ho. Hey, thank you very much. Now, room number two, Andre, Andy, Erling, Irma, and Oscar. Mire, vamos en orden alfabético, ¿ve? A, E, I, O, U. No, O, U, te vamos en la O. Andre, Angie, Erling, Irma, Anosco. Ahí okay. faltaba Úrsula. <ríe> Ajá, go ahead, Juju. 
Room 2. Ok, okay. me listo. ¿Te gusta? Inicio yo. Bye. Uh, hello, Melissa. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have heard the list of activities you have to do first. You have to make statements, check email, prepare invoice. Okay, where do where do I have to make inbox? Uh, in the office, then you have to. Okay, I'm going to. Uh, hello, Irma, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to... Uh, make a report um check last the reports of the collaborator and um reading of the boss okay where do i have to prepare a report in the computer then you have to okay you have to okay you have to uh, make a report. Okay, great. Great, thank great. you. Thank you, Irma, right? Okay, room number three, Ana Luisa, Maria, Epifania, Mauricio, and Ursula. Okay, teacher. Hello, Ursula. Welcome to the Salvador Company. Um, Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Okay. Uh, I will introduce to you to the administrative manager, Mr. Uh, Maria. I present to go the new reception. She is Ursula. Hello, Ursula. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to El Salvador Company. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And Ursula, I will present to Mr. Mauricio. Uh, he is the general manager. I will give you the activities the one you do every day. And he explained to you uh, some words, how to you do. Uh, for example, uh, you need to answer the phone and you need to attend uh, some customers. And also you need to make some report for the general manager. And I and he will teach you how to you do. Okay, Mr. Mauricio, uh, she is Ursula. She is the new receptionist for our company. Hello, Miss Maria. Hello, Miss Ursula. You're welcome. Thank you. I am just of start. Your heart will be to hardware the calls every day. Send an email, please. Okay. Where do I have to answer the phone? You will be working in the office. Okay. And yes. where I do have to make reports? What I I forgot that another activity. Sorry. So, that's all, teacher. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Good. Very good. Now let's see. The last one is Carla Milena, Miguel Angel, Nancy, and Sylvia Evelyn. Oh my. Okay. Who will Carlita. Hello. Carlita. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlita. 
¿Quién comienza? Usted, Carlita. <laughs> ok. Hello, Miss Ochoa. Welcome. Hi, Carla. How are you? Um, good. I have, I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to attend meetings. Also, you have to call the customers. Besides, you have to check emails. Also, you have to visit the customers and service customers. Okay. Where do I have to the activities? Um, some of the activities you have to do in the office and others outside the office. For example, in the office, you have to check emails and you have to attend meetings. Okay, thank you. We finish and now it is the tour of Miguel and Silvia. Miguel y Silvia, su turno. Okay, sí, ahorita. Okay. Yo soy el A. Hello, Mr. Miguel, welcome. Hello. Sorry, sorry. Hi, how are you, Karna? Silvia. Perdón, perdón, uh, Silvia. Sorry. Okay. Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do first. You have to attend meeting. Also, you have to care to call the customer. Besides, you have to check emails. Also, you have to visit the customers and service customers. Okay. Uh, finish. Sorry. Okay, uh, that's okay. Lo demás, lo demás no, lo, no lo anoté. Sorry. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Congratulations. You have done a great job. Very good, very good. Now, I'm going to call attendance and we give a uh, last we go to the end today, right? Let's see. Um, Abner Adoni. No here today, right? Abner Adoni. No. I guess it's the, it's the one that is absent today. Uh, Alexa? Present teacher. Ana Luisa? Present teacher. Andre? Angie? Angie? Presente. Arely? Present teacher. Erling? Here I am. Rina, Rina Irma. Irma. Present teacher. Carla Melina. Present teacher. Maria. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Nancy Katia. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula Esteli. Present. And William Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, nice, nice. When you free to go sleep. Remember, just remind, reminding you to work on the platform, right? Work on the platform. Don't forget to update your grades there in the platform. And see you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Good night, Good night. everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Hi, Andre. Hi, hi. Bye.